Neutrinos are among the most abundant particles in the universe, but are notoriously difficult to detect. The standard model of particle physics recognizes three types, but the discovery of neutrino oscillations, showing neutrinos have mass and can change types, hinted at physics beyond the standard model. For years, unexplained experimental anomalies have fueled speculation about a fourth, sterile neutrino, which would interact even more weakly than known neutrinos. Its confirmation would revolutionize fundamental physics. A new study published in Nature by the Catrian Collaboration reports the most precise direct search to date for sterile neutrinos, finding no evidence for their existence. The Catrian Karlsruhe Tritium Neutrino Experiment, located at Germany's Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, was originally designed to measure neutrino mass, but is also exquisitely sensitive to signs of a sterile neutrino. The experiment works by analyzing the beta decay of tritium, a radioactive isotope. When tritium decays, it emits an electron and a neutrino. By precisely measuring the energy spectrum of the emitted electrons, scientists can infer properties of the accompanying neutrino. If a sterile neutrino were occasionally produced instead of a standard one, it would carry away a different amount of energy, creating a detectable distortion or kink in the electron energy pattern. Catrin's 70-meter-long apparatus features a windowless gaseous tritium source, a high-resolution spectrometer, to measure electron energies with extreme accuracy, and a particle detector. Since operations began in 2019, it has collected data with unmatched precision, specifically hunting for the subtle signature of a sterile neutrino. In this latest analysis covering 259 days of data taking between 2019 and 2021, Katrin recorded about 36 million electron events. The measurements were compared against detailed theoretical models of beta decay with an accuracy better than 1%. The result was clear. No statistically significant kink or deviation indicative of a sterile neutrino was found. This null result is highly significant. It rules out a broad range of sterile neutrino properties that had been proposed to explain earlier puzzling observations. These prior anomalies included unexpected deficits of neutrinos detected from nuclear reactors and from gallium-based radioactive sources, both of which had been interpreted as potential hints of a fourth neutrino type. Katrine's findings directly contradict the claims of the Neutrino 4 experiment, which had previously reported evidence for a sterile neutrino. A key strength of Katrine is its exceptionally low background noise, meaning nearly every detected electron comes directly from tritium decay. This allows for a clean measurement of the energy spectrum right at the moment of neutrino creation. This approach complements neutrino oscillation experiments, which observe how neutrinos change type over long distances. While oscillation experiments probe neutrinos after they have traveled, Katrin probes them at their birth point. Together, these different methodologies provide a powerful, multifaceted test of the sterile neutrino hypothesis, and the combined evidence now strongly disfavors its existence in the parameter space explored. The Katrin collaboration involves scientists from over 20 institutions across seven countries, underscoring the global scale of this high-precision investigation. While the search for the sterile neutrino continues in other realms, Katrin's definitive tritium decay analysis has significantly narrowed the possibilities, steering particle physics toward other explanations for past anomalies and reinforcing the robustness of the three-neutrino framework, while simultaneously advancing our precise understanding of neutrino mass. Did fusion just hack dark matter?